everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and a few weeks ago I did a little tutorial on Martha Stewart's new punch, um, the punch anywhere or anywhere on the page and I had a couple people request and do a little tutorial on the um, the punch all around the page uh, punches by Martha Stewart so I thought I would just go ahead and show you uh, how to use, this one is the poinsettia punch, this is one of the brand new ones for the holiday and um, I thought I would just go ahead and use these as my example. Um, first what I thought I would do is just show you first how to use the border punch because you can use this just like a border. Um, you don't have to use it with the, the corner piece but you can use it to do you know a, a border on a card or something like that. So I just have a, have a piece of cardstock here and this is how I do it. Uh, I start off in the center of my cardstock and I kind of just use my punch here as my guide to make sure my cardstock is centered and I'm just going to go ahead and start punching so I just did my first punch and then what you do is just slide this over until it lines up and you can see that one of the um, poinsettias lines up with the gray piece that's on the side here and then you just keep doing that all along okay so I have one little spot there that I need to get so you just line up the punch and punch your piece and I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side and I'm lining up the poinsettia on the other side of my punch and you always want to make sure that your paper is um, especially the um, flat side this part right here is up against this little groove right here so I'm just lining it up and doing my punch okay so now I have a nice little border piece that I can use on a card or or layout or something like that Okay, so first what I thought I would do is before I start showing you how to do um, the punch all around the page is to show you the measurements that, are, that you can do your punch around the pages with. The smallest one is the three and one quarter, so this is a three and one quarter by three and one quarter, and then you could start going up by one and a quarter inch, or one and three quarter inch increments. So three and three quarter, five, six and three quarter, ten and one quarter, and 12 by 12 which is my big purple piece in the back here so so let me just show you I'm gonna set my smaller one aside because I'm gonna show you how to do that but this is the big five this is five by five that's the six six and three quarter by six and three quarter ten and a quarter by ten and a quarter and then my purple one here is twelve by twelve okay so let me just show you how to do <clears throat> excuse me, the three and three quarter and what you want to do is start out by using your quarter punch and the corner punch has these little wings that come out just like that okay so you pop those out and you start by going ahead and punching all four corners so what you do is just put your corner piece in and make sure your two sides of your cardstock is lined up on that little grid that you uh, uh, little ledge that you pulled out on the sides there are the little wings so I'm just gonna go ahead and punch all four corners you can see it punched right there okay <clears throat> and then what you do is you take your border punch and you open it up and on each side of the punch here are these little silver or um, little silver guides here so what you do is you take your corner and you line up your silver piece so that your, when you're punching over on this side the silver shows through the punched piece but on the corners you line it up so it's covering the silver piece okay just like that so you're just gonna go ahead and do all of the pieces that way by lining it up on your grid and punching out your piece Okay, so now I have a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece, and this would be great for you know matting on a photo, matting a photo or anything like that. So let me just go ahead and get rid of these little pieces here from where I punched out. Now the other thing you could do is you can mix and match your sizes. So if you want to do a three and a quarter by five inch, this will work. So let me just show you with a three and a quarter inch by five inch piece of cardstock. So that's what this is. So what you could do is mix and match. You can even do three and a quarter by six and three quarter. You could even do three and a quarter by ten and a quarter if you want to. 
Um, but we're going to go with three and a quarter of a five because this would actually make a great mat on a card. So again, you just start off, and let me just get some of the pieces out of the way here. You just start off by punching all four corners. Okay? And then what you do is you take your border piece and you're going to line up your corner piece with your grid, uh, your mat, a little grid on the side here. Now three and a quarter is the smallest you can go. So when you're doing something that's a little longer, like this five by five piece, you start by lining up your corner, making sure your cardstock is flush with the little edge that's on the side here, and then you slide it down and line up with the other piece. It'll be silver on this side, but we're going to cover it over here, and the silver shows through the punched piece. So you line that up, and that's what creates your border. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around and do all the other three sides. Okay, so that's a three and a quarter by five inch piece. Like I said, great for a card. Okay, so let me just show you one more thing that you could do. Let me just clear off these little pieces here. The other thing, I, let me show you one other one. This is a five by six and three quarter inch piece. Let me get a different colored cardstock so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this would be great for matting a photo on the layout. So really cute. So I wanted to show you one more thing, and let me just show you, this is a standard A2 size card, so it's five and a half by four and a quarter, and this is my three and a quarter by five inch piece, and you could do a nice little mat and put your um, image or stamp a uh, picture or anything you want to do there, so really cute. So, But let me just show you one more thing you can do with your corner punch. What you do is start by opening up one side of your punch, your other side is closed, you're going to open up your card, and there's a little silver line right here. So what you do is you put your card inside of your um, punch, and then you line your score line to your card with the silver line on the side of the punch. And you can create a nice little side a corner punch right here. And you can just keep going around. Well, I don't think you can go all the way over, but you can at least create a border going down one side or just leave it just like this and put a nice little piece of colored paint cardstock in the back. So, Okay, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to use the Martha Stewart um, punch around the pages and I'll put a link on the screen to head over to um, the other video I did which was for the punch all over the pages. So thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>